and in today's video i will be teaching you guys how to play roblox parkour but let's get straight to the intro oh and by the way don't mind uh, of how i talk because literally i'm i was literally stuttering so yeah and just ask me any questions if you're literally confused on what you're trying to do i mean shoot and yeah let's get straight to the video now what is up everyone the name is brandon or jesse teaching swag r and today i will be making tutorials on how to play parkour recently some of my friends have been playing parkour with me and they don't have the skills and it's really hard to teach them in person and in call and in the game so when oh my goodness it just had to do that it just had to do that so when the game asked you to go to the tutorial it was like trying to teach you it's really confusing this game is really hard on new beginners so it asks you to do the vault well this is how you do the vault you just press space right here and if you want to go up high, you, you just press space right here. Well, hold space when you go into an object like this. And then it just takes you to the, it just takes you to a building or it just gives you a boost. That's it. All right, so climbing. It asks you to climb, but many of my friends, well, not many of them, but some of them, my friend, well, my Roblox buddy was trying to get up here and they were struggling it's and I was trying to help them I was trying to tell them just press space all the way and they just rushed up like this so I have to do just press space right here and right here that's it all right moving on to the next one it asks you to land right where where it says right where there's a cyan fade block square thingy if you see it right here you just have to land it right here you just have to land right here by pressing shift before you hit the ground this is how you land when you land uh oh shoot i was about to fall there i thought it was going to fall so you land um so as you fall when you're trying to land all you have to do is just press shift before you hit the ground when you're about to hit the ground all right i'll i'll teach I'll show you some examples right now. And that's how you do it. All right, just be sure to like hold or just press shift when you're about to hit the ground. All right, so wall run. People, this hurts. So wall run. My friend, my friend was struggling, just trying to do the wall run, and all you have to do is just press space right here and go as far as you can. I repeat, go as far as you can when you're trying to wall run like this, and then you'll just be able to. If you see a square thing, just let, just uh, sit right here, and it'll tell you to keep going. Now the pipes, well, like I said back. In, like I said back when I was right there, you have to hold space to do the high jump vault thing. Just hold space when you're hitting an object, like objects like these and that one too. This one, it doesn't really do anything, but but when I but when I run too fast with the adrenaline belt, it just well, it was it was about to do this, you know, like that, like that. But it didn't work the first time, so yeah. Alright, so all you have to do is just climb on the vault, climb on the pipes. They're, they may be called ladders, but they're just pipes. Alright, just keep going, keep going, and then, well, people have been struggling right here most of the time. Alright, I've been trying to t teach them how to do this, but they just rush down doing this. I'm not trying to judge y'all, but I'm, I'm just trying to help y'all. Help y'all be a better parkour player. All right, like this and that. All you have to do is just press space when you're. Well, don't don't go to the very edge of an object like this when it's too close to the wall. All you have to do is just, just go on the very edge, but don't don't just drop down. It won't it won't be able to take you up. 
as you drop down and it won't and you won't be able to reach the pipe well i guess you will but when the pipe is too far up you won't be able to reach it so all you have to do is just Oh, all you have to do is just press space right here and then it'll boost you up a bit your character will boost you up a bit and then you can just wall run and climb on the pipe right here as I did just now all right ah! I didn't mean to land here but when there's something like this or a garbage all you have to do is just keep just all right always land in the landing pads and the garbage I'll show you what the garbage looks like. It looks like this one, but if you land right here, you'll be able to live. You'll be able to, you know, cheat your death. Of, you'll have, you'll be able to cheat your fall. Now, this is tricky for beginners. It's called long jump. All you have, if you have a mouse, then you're lucky. But if you don't have a mouse, then rest in peace. I suggest ask your parents to buy you a mouse or. Just ask them to take you to Walmart and get you a new mouse or whatever places you know where mouses can be located at. So for the long jump, to be honest, my mouse doesn't even, my mouse go button doesn't even work, so I can't get out of first person properly. First person isn't locked right now. I know how to unlock first person. As you can see on the bottom of the screen right here. Now, now, now as for the long jump trick, all you have to do is just run and jump at the very edge by pressing the scroll well clicking on the scroll button and then jump by pressing space it's really hard for beginners but as long as you practice you'll get used to it trust me you will i know you will and don't say you give up because it's gonna make it worse and you're just gonna you're just gonna keep playing it and if it says complete right here if you don't see a zip line right here, that means you haven't completed it yet. By clicking, by clicking on congratulations, you completed the tutorial. Now, in order to see the zip line, you have to when it says you, congratulations, you completed the tutorial, then click, then just click on it. You'll be able to free run, even though you don't have the game pass of free running. I have the free running game pass, that's why I've been doing flips more often. And then once you see, and once you click on, well, once you click out the comp completions, then you see a zip line right here. And uh, yeah, there you go. That's how. That is how you complete the first tutorial of parkour. Now I'm moving on to the second tutorial, which is the advanced tutorial, which is really tricky for, well, advanced. You know, level 25 and up or 20 and up. That's it. All right, you guys. So I'm at the events tutorial right now, and a lot of my, <laughs> two of my friends were struggling this. And if you if you guys don't know what if you guys are ever interested in parkour, then make sure to subscribe to the channel because I will do more tutorials on how to, you know, do tricks and stuff, and more about skins. All right, so. It asks you to do a wall climb boost. Well, all you have to do is just turn. To, with if you have a mouse, then you're lucky. You're lucky to listen. You're you're lucky to watch this video because, well, you, then you'll be able to master all the steps I've been showing. So all you have to do is just. All right. So before you press, before you press the space bar twice, all you have to do is just do this. Well, you have to do it at the same time. All you have to do is just do this, and you'll be able to just you'll just turn 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 either right or left twice, and you'll be able to press space twice as well, and you'll be able to you know you'll be able to boost yourself up. Same goes for this one. All you have to do you have to do it twice though. All right, if you don't hear any of my keys, if you don't hear any of my keys, I'll show it. I'll let you guys hear it right here. It's right here. And, that, and there you go. I hope I hope you guys heard that. I hope you guys heard that. But just just for just to remind myself, just to make sure you guys hear that. And there you go. All right, so if you guys have long jumping abilities, you guys are really lucky. And for the zip lines, you won't be able to see, you won't be able to see the zip lines as 
As long as you're, you won't be able to do, 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 do blah, 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 my words. You won't be able to see the zip lines if you're doing both tutorials, which is beginner tutorial and advanced tutorial. So yeah, this is for, this is the wall run. I, I forgot what it's called though, but this is supposed to be a wall, a long wall run thingy. I, if you have long jumping abilities, then, which is the scroll and a space, that's, that's great. That's really great for you. I'm really happy if you're practicing. As long as, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. All right. Because your skills are a lot better. Your skills are a lot better than mine to all the parkour players that are pros. So yeah, that was really cool. So all you have to do is just long jump and do this. Do that. Well, you can just do it backwards. Let me just restart. Alright, so all you can do, all you can ever do is just do this. Do that, and you'll be able to pass this one. Yeah, you can even do the wall climb boost while run running too. While running too. Now this is kind of tricky. Well, it's that's the hardest part, but the end is really, really, really tricky and hard, to be honest. Because as long as as long as as long as you keep practicing, you'll get used to it. So, it's this is the part where it says combine everything you've learned to get to the top of this building. Well, not the top top, but to get to that building over there. So all you have to do is just long jump, wall climb boost twice, and then wall run all the way down there. That's how you'll be able to pass. That's how you'll be able to pass this checkpoint. Now, as for this one, it's really, really hard for newcomer advanced guys, players, or stuff like that. All you have to do is just... Okay, so this is a long... This is a height combo. You have to do two static long jumps. And then you have to... Two static long jumps by wall climbing and then do a long jump. Okay, I'll show y'all what two static long jumps look like. This is how you do the height combo. And there you go. So. <laughs> so as long as you have the long jumping abilities, then you will be able to get to the top of this building. You have to stay on buildings um, to unlock more gloves. As you unlock more gloves, it increases your abilities. Like I always say. Well, I never technically said that in one of the videos, but I've been saying it to my friends as well. So yeah. So, if you have, if you do know how to do wall climb boost, then that's that's really fine. But what I'm about to show you is that when you wall climb boost, just press wall. When you wall climb boost, just do just turn around and then press shift and then press the long jump button, which is the scroll. And just click on the scroll button. Okay, just press shift, click on the scroll button as you you know turn back and then you and then press space. See? Alright. Wall climb boost. Ow, this hurts. Alright. Wall climb boost. Wall climb boost. Shift. Click and... <sighs> Dang. Wall climb boost. Shift. Click on the scroll button and then press space. It's really easy. If you want to do it right here, that's fine. That's fine. As long as you know how to do... And then you just do it twice. Alright. Um... I'm about to do this the basic way, so I'm about to do it with I'm about to do it with no gauntlets right now. So no gauntlets, no gauntlets. All right, or binoculars, or adrenaline belt, just a black cola and the Evo glove and the glowing glove. All right, so all I have to do is do this. If you ever struggled, this just, just do what I did. All right. All right, I'm about to I'm about to show you guys the little ghost that taught me that I'm about to show y'all the little ghost that did all of that tricks the tricks that I just did earlier well a while a minute ago a second ago so yeah
and that's how you do it. And if you completed this tutorial, you'll be able to claim this new glove called the Master... Well, it's not actually new, but it'll be new to you as you move on to levels and stuff. It'll be a Master Glove. I can't show you what it looks like because it'll spoil all the beginners. So, yeah. But all I can use is just a Practice Glove and the Power Grip Gauntlet. Let me use everything else and the Adrenaline Belt. Oh, I'm sorry, I just sneezed. <laughs> so yeah, that's pr basically it for all the tutorials. And so yeah, thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on all notifications so you won't miss every video I post. And yeah, comment below on what you're struggling right now in this game because I can teach you, but it's gonna be hard to teach in calls. Or in games, if you're not my friend. So, yeah, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Oh, and don't forget the Science Squadron shirt is out in the Roblox group. The link is in the subscription, I mean, description below. <laughs> and I'll see y'all in the next time. Peace out. Goodbye. <laughs>